Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a bumblebee. Start by drawing a circle for the middle section of the body called the thorax. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a cup, a lid, or anything else with a circular edge. To the right of the circle, make a small mark for the first part of the guide for the head. Draw two more small marks to indicate the length of the head. Now connect the marks using curved lines to finish the guide for the head. The shape of the head is basically a small oval that's pushed up against the thorax. On the lower left side, make a small mark for the first part of the guide for the back portion of the body. Now connect the small mark to the big circle in the middle using curved lines to finish the shape of the guide. The line for the top part of the shape should be curved and the line at the bottom should be more flat. This shape should slope down on the bottom left side. This section of the body is called the abdomen. On the bottom of the circle, draw a long angled line as a guide for the first leg. Bend the line at the top and in the middle to indicate the joints on the leg. To the left, draw an even longer angled line as a guide for the middle leg. Draw this line going up and then bend it down and to the left. The line for this leg should be longer than the line for the first leg. Pay attention to the length of these lines in relation to the rest of the body. To the left, draw another long angled line as a guide for the final leg. This line should bend at the top and then slope down to the lower left side. On top of the body, draw a long thin arc as a guide for the wing. The arc is made up of two long sloping lines with a curved line at the top. Pay attention to how big and how slanted this arc is in relation to the body. Close off the guide for the wing at the bottom using a shorter horizontal line. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, draw a big oval for the eye. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. The shape of the eye should take up a big area inside the head. On the top right side of the head, lightly sketch a long angled line for the first antenna. When you get the shape and length right, darken the line. Draw a short line in the middle to create a segment. Draw another angled line to make the shape of the antenna thicker. Below that, draw the other antenna the same way. Draw two angled lines for the top and bottom edge of the antenna. Then add a shorter line in the middle to create a segment. Use the initial oval as a guide to draw the rest of the head. Draw a series of short strokes along the basic path of the oval to create the furry shape of the head. Draw the bottom part of the head slightly lower than the edge of the initial oval. Make the top part of the head a lot taller and more curved than the initial guideline. Sketch a curved line lightly at first and then add the short strokes. Don't overlap the antennae at the top as you draw the shape of the head. Under the head, draw a couple of short vertical lines for the mouth parts. The left side of the mouth is a short vertical line and the right side is a couple of small angled lines. Now use the long angled line to the left of the head as a guide to draw the front leg. Draw the leg in small segments. Draw the first segment as a small rectangle around the top part of the guide. Continue to draw more small rectangular segments farther down around the guideline. Keep the shape of the leg thin as you draw it around the guideline. Add a couple of small spiky shapes at the bottom for the claw-like section. 
On the top left side, draw a bigger shape around the guideline for the base of the leg. Draw a curved line at the bottom of the base for a segment and a few short strokes for hair. Now use the angled line to the left as a guide to draw the middle leg the same way. First, lightly sketch a rectangular shape around the top part of the guide for the first segment of the leg. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. This leg is bigger than the first leg so draw this rectangular shape bigger. Add a couple of short curved lines at the bottom of the shape to emphasize the joint. Draw a series of short strokes to the left of the segment for the hair on the leg. Draw another rectangular segment around the middle of the guideline. Make these segments thicker than the segments for the front leg. Use short strokes along the left side of the segment for the hair. Now draw a smaller segment at the bottom. Don't add short strokes for hair to this segment. At the very bottom, draw a smaller, thinner segment with a couple of spiky shapes at the end for claws. Now use the angled line to the left as a guide to draw the last leg the same way. First, lightly sketch a long rectangular shape around the top part of the guideline. When you get the segment right, darken the lines. Draw a couple of short curved lines on the top and the bottom to emphasize the joints on the segment. Make the bottom part of this shape wider than the top. On the left side, draw a few short strokes for the hair on the leg. Add short strokes on the right side too but draw them closer to the leg. Draw another big shape farther down along the guideline for the next segment of the leg. This is the biggest leg, so draw the segments bigger than the other legs. Draw a thinner shape around the bottom of the guide for the lower segment of the leg. On the end of the bottom segment, draw a couple of spike-like shapes for the claw. On the top right side, draw a couple of short sloping lines for the base of the leg. Add a short line to the right for the base of the leg in the middle. Make sure that all three legs are coming out of the bottom edge of the thorax. Use the big arc on top of the body as a guide to draw the wing. Darken the path of the guide to create the shape of the wing. Make the top part of the wing slightly thinner than the initial guide. Make the left edge of the wing slightly wavier as you darken the line. At the bottom, curve the line upward to make the base of the wing thinner. Use the big circle in the middle as a guide to draw the thorax. Draw a series of short strokes along the basic path of the initial circle to create the shape of the furry thorax. At the top, draw the short strokes higher than the initial circle to make the shape of the thorax bigger. On the left side, draw the short strokes inside the circle to make the thorax thinner. Add a few short strokes along the bottom too but don't overlap the legs. Now use the curved shape on the left side as a guide to draw the abdomen. Draw a series of short strokes along the basic path of the guideline to create the shape of the furry abdomen. Draw the short strokes a bit farther from the guide to make the shape of the abdomen bigger. On the lower left side of the abdomen, draw a small V-shaped line for the stinger. The wing is transparent, so add a few short strokes inside the shape for the top part of the body. To the right of the wing, draw another tall arc for the wing that's on the other side of the body. Sketch the shape of the wing lightly at first. Draw this wing slightly thinner and smaller than the first wing. The bottom part of the wing should be wide and the top thin. When you get the shape of the wing right, darken the lines. Make the left edge of the wing wavy. The shape of this wing shouldn't slope as much as the first wing. Under the body, to the left of the front leg, draw the visible part of the front leg that's on the other side of the body. Use the front leg as a template to draw this leg, but make this leg smaller. Farther to the left, draw the visible portion of the other middle leg the same way. Use the first middle leg as a template to draw this leg, but make this leg smaller too. 
On the far left side, draw the last leg the same way. Draw this shape smaller than the first hind leg. Now go over the final lines with a pen, a marker, or any other type of permanent ink. The next few steps are sped up so that the video won't be too long. Take your time and be careful when you ink your drawing to avoid any accidents. Don't ink the initial guidelines, only the final drawing. When the ink dries, erase all of the guidelines. And now color your drawing. Using dark brown, draw a series of angled lines inside the wings for the veins. Draw a few stripes across the body using black. Color the head and the eye black too. Leave a thin section on the top part of the eye blank for a highlight. Leave a few sections on the segments of the legs blank for highlights. Use short strokes as you color the body for a furry texture. Color lightly at first and then gradually build up to darker colors. Push down very lightly on your pencil to color lightly, then push down harder for darker colors. Gradually build up the dark sections of the body. Blend in a bit of brown into the black stripes. Add a bit more dark brown on the wings to emphasize the veins. Now add the yellow section on the body. Use different shades of yellow and orange to color these sections. Blend in different shades of colors like yellow-orange, red-orange, and brown. The wings are transparent, so lightly add the colors of the body inside the shapes too. Use short strokes as you add these colors for a furry texture. Use black and gray to color the stripes on the back portion of the abdomen. Use darker colors on the underside of the body to create shadows. Use a bit of light brown for the inside of the wings. Keep coloring until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the bumblebee. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how and then the number 2, then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep drawing.